Today, we're working with our friends at Sears Imported Autos, selling beautiful Mercedes-Benz in Minnetonka, Minnesota. There are some additional features um, that I didn't cover on the other Mercedes, so I want to show them to you here. And the first one is the um, virtual reality navigation. So in order for that to, to work, you just go to navigation and click on it or click on your mouse or use your steering wheel controls. And then um, if you don't set a destination, what will happen is when you come to like a stop sign, a stop light, it will automatically click to the using the front camera on the car and actually show you what's really in front of you in real time. If you um, set a destination, and I'll show you a clip here, it actually floats the directions right on top of the screen for you. Um, it, it's, a, it's just an amazing technology. In order to get the virtualization on the navigation, you may have to go through some settings. Let me show you how to do that. So you just go into navigation and you press on the settings control and then you can scroll down. Okay, I'm gonna go to advanced and then you, you notice you have a little more area to go. So if you use the mouse trackpad and you scroll down, okay, you can get to this augmented reality and then scroll down a little bit further. And then I turned it on, when I got in, this was turned off. So I turn it on, on automatic, which means anytime I come to a stop sign or stop light or slow down um, significantly uh, as if I'm going to stop or make a turn, then the camera, it automatically came on. But you'll want to go in there and, and do that. And then you have some other options like um, you can have street name show or not. You can have house numbers show or not. So you can kind of determine how much information you want on your screen. And then you can go in here. You can set map elements of, you know, for POI or satellite or range, traffic accidents, free-flowing traffic, that kind of stuff. And it's just a simple click on the trackpad to turn it on or turn it off. Um, all right, so we'll go back up here. Um, you can get uh, text information for, like, uh, if there's anything going on the highway, uh, next intersecting street, current street, on the f and that runs on a footer down here. Um, geo coordinates is just amazing uh, all the stuff that that's built into there um, you can of course go in here and check, just simply check your map version um, and look at all the details of that as well so that's the navigation part now uh, this particular vehicle does not have this uh, as an option however you have you can get the option where you can create a two finger swipe and so if you just simply do a two finger swipe you can set a favorite item for instance it, it could be calling your home phone it could be setting the navigation to go home uh, it could be a particular radio station and all you have to do then is just like that and it goes to that particular thing and you can set one for the driver and one for the passenger Another option you can get is that when you are um, bringing your hand across here, it, it actually senses and it will highlight. And I showed you that on the other MBUX system. And then how you went over here and then this passenger light came on. But you can also do an option where, um, let's say there's no one in the car and you're driving, and you want it's, it's dark out and you want to reach over and grab something from the seat. If there's no one in the seat as you reach over and grab, this light comes on. However, if somebody is sitting in the seat and you do that, it won't come on. But it will come on if you go underneath here. So it's just kind of a really neat setting. Um, this particular vehicle, again, does not have that particular option on it, but that is available. The other thing that uh, you can get as an option, which is really nice, is uh, with the air ride suspension, through the infotainment screen, you can actually get it more of a, like an off-road system where you, you'll get a little graphic like with two uh, sliders here and two sliders here where you can individually raise and lower each tire. So if you're in a situation where you, you're one tire's off the ground that you need to have traction, you can go in there and just lower that tire. The other thing that, that you get it with along with that same option is, uh, I call it bounce mode, 
uh, but it's really to deal if you're stuck in sand. And what you, when you turn it on, what it actually does is it raises and lowers the vehicle about 4.6 inches, somewhere something like that, rapidly. And so that as you're driving slowly, your tires come up and it allows you to shoot sand underneath your own, you know, using your own tires to shoot sand under this. So you get traction. You don't just dig a hole. The other thing that, that's really handy is that one of the shortcut buttons that's up here uh, is the uh, actual the camera button. And so if I push that, I instantly um, will activate my cameras and I can select which ones I want here and I can do that with a scrolling pad. But so if you're parking in, you know, pulling into a parking spot, you can see what's in front of you. If you want a little uh, a view with the um, dynamic guidelines, you can get that as well. Okay, you can do the, the whole like right side, left side, the whole length of the car deal. And then you can of course look behind you um, and then you can get this view. So. I, I, I like this. If I if I had this vehicle with a front mounted camera, I think I'd use this every time I parked in a parking lot with a car that was ahead of me just to know how close I was to it. And I absolutely love that. All right, so you can give this thing generic commands or you can give specific commands. For instance, hi Mercedes. How can I help you? Turn my heated seats on. I'm switching on the seat heating. Hey Mercedes. How may I help you? Turn the passenger heated seat on. I'm switching on the seat heating. All right, so you can do both sides. Um, then you can give it generic things like, hey Mercedes. How may I help you? I'm cold. I'm setting the temperature on the driver's side to 71 degrees. So you can give it generic things, you can say specific things. Uh, uh, it, it'll help uh, control uh, just about everything in the vehicle. And it's nice because you never have to take your hands off the steering wheel. You might have a little practice with saying the correct phrases. That I'm, let's see if we can do the restaurant thing. We tried that earlier and it didn't work, so I'm going to try it again. Hey, Mercedes. How may I help you? Find me a restaurant. Please select an entry. Three. The route is being calculated. Please proceed to the highlighted route. And there you go. Through Sirius XM Satellite, if you say, like, find country music, then it will bring up a whole list of stations, and then you just simply say, when it comes up, you just say the one that you want. Hey, Mercedes. How may I help you? S play a country radio station. Please say the name of the radio station. Garth. And there we go. Utterly amazing. I absolutely love it. Okay, so this has hill hold, brake hold, and hill descend assist. So on brake hold, it works very similar to other Mercedes where you're driving in traffic and you simply, you know, you, you come to a stop, give the brake a little extra push, and it will lock the brakes for you. And then you can take your foot off it, and when you're ready to accelerate, you just hit the accelerator. Um, it has the um, hill hold feature, which is automatically activated. It's nothing you can turn on or off, but if it senses it's on a certain uh, percentage of an incline, when you take your foot off the brake, it'll act, automatically hold it for you until you hit the accelerator. And that's a really nice feature. Um, if you want to use hill descent control, that one is found uh, in your infotainment sys uh, settings here. So if I go um, to home here, and I just kind of scroll down to settings. It's DSR right there. Okay, and now it's on. So another uh, feature in here is the car wash button. And if I click on that, it's going to, uh, it says vehicles prepared before driving into automatic car wash. If I say it'll do this, mirrors folded in. Parking, uh, Parktronic off, rain sensor off, rear wiper off, sliding sunroof closed, windows closed. Okay. The vehicle level raised. And then the vehicle level is raised. I missed that one. So if I hit start, there goes my folded mirrors. The vehicle is already raised, so it gives me a check mark, and everything is off. Huh, that's interesting. So my windows were closed, but they were open just a gap, and so it gave me that red X saying you need to raise them. So then I had to go through and just grab... I had to grab the window switches quickly and just raise them, and and then it was done. And now it's ready. So I, I that's just awesome. 
And then when you're ever, whenever you're done, you just hit stop. It unfolds your mirrors. It turns everything back on again for you. Uh, that's just that's really nice. I like that. Especially when you have so many, you know, advanced safety systems. You know, the the, the rain sensing windshield wipers and all that kind of stuff that it automatically does it for you. And the reason for raising the car, as Rob mentioned, is because it wants to get the maximum clearance for washing underneath the car. If you want to use strictly paddle shifters, you hit the M button. If you want the uh, ESP on, you just click on here, and then you can either have it on or off. So those are all quick access under settings.